everyone. Um, welcome back to a organized disaster zone. So, um, instead of doing my fabric closet, I decided to do this disaster, which, as you can see, is pretty bad, and it's right by my desk. So we are going to attack this. Um, uh, starting to feel claustrophobic in this little area, which for me is not good. So I have my giveaway bucket. Um, it is empty. I transferred most of it into a box. I'm not sure what I'm going to do or how I'm going to do it, but that will work. And so yeah, let's get started. That's an, I have a trash bucket over here somewhere, which is good. That's going to be needed. Um, use my room. Move my chair. All right. Now let's get started. So, um, you can't see over here, I have um, storage with paper for printer, storage for other paper. I just have a lot of crap. Um, that, sorry, I don't know if I can say that on YouTube. Can you say crap? Um, anyhow, I have a lot of stuff that I just need to be gone. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to attack this first and I am, like always, I will do a fast forward through all this so you guys can actually see my process while I do this. Oh, that's cute. We're going to keep that and put that in that bucket. Okay, so. Let's get started. Does anyone else have a paper problem? I am addicted to paper and I tend to not use half of it. And I need to go through and get rid of stuff. But here's my problem. <laughs> I don't want to get rid of my paper. going to be my oh, 
No, you don't need that fabric. Um, That works. Trash can converted to packing material holder. And we have an empty tub. Woohoo! So I'm going to use this now for fat to store more fabric. If you haven't guessed yet, I have a lot of fabric. I am a fabric quarter paper hoarder, craft supply hoarder, but I'm getting better at getting rid of it. Into a box. I have a lot of books right
Okay. Here's where I run into my problem. All of these are stuff like unfinished product, or unfinished. Let's go there. This is all ephemera that needs to be cut. And put away. So I think we're going to do a video next week on making ephemera holders because I'm in desperate need of some. We keep this for just fill it up with all the ephemera I find. Yeah, I don't need that. Um, and go from there. in this layer. I've been looking for these. This is just a... Okay, those are going to go up there. I'll put in one of those things. Okay, sorry for the weird ankle. So my camera needs to charge, so while it's charging, I don't want you guys to miss anything, so I just wanted to let you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put away all of that paper and put away all of those books and that paper and the fabric. Um, hopefully when I hit that point I will get more room because as you can see um, yeah there is not much room over here. So hopefully when I get to that point the camera will be charged again and I can turn this back on without it charging while I'm recording because I don't have the ability where the way I'm charging. Welcome back. Got my phone charged. Got stuff taken care of. So, my camera charged. Sorry, not my phone. So, I'm going to work in this area and kind of organize these um, and go from there. So, we'll see how far we get today. So over on this side, I have a lot of, it's stuff that I need to put in an organized space, which is why we're going to go through this. And probably these drawers, once we get everything separated, um, I like to make my piles. So like I have all my fabric and lace ribbon stuff in here that is loose. And I have um, fabric and more ribbon and lace and stuff, which 
the cat in here. I had to put some of it in here. But now that they're not in here, I think, I don't know, I hear noise over there. They totally could be. Um, oh, yep. They're in here. <laughs> the camera stuff. I can hope up camera stuff right there. Okay, so I'm trying to get this empty so I can reorganize it. Um, and this, that's where I put my bags. I think these are two gallon bags, and this is where my scraps are. Before I move, um, these scraps are going away. I haven't used them all. Not all of them are scraps, but um, I don't really need. It. <laughs> I don't want to pack them, so they're going to go away. I hit to that point. Okay, perfect. For sure I want all that. Okay, so we can start attacking these. Um, these are smaller scraps, which I really want kept in a different location, different area. And that can go in a different area. Okay. So this is mixed media. Okay, so I do have this section somewhat organized. Um, it just needs to be a little bit better. <laughs> um, down here, normally, um, these are just notebooks, which um, I'm gonna put elsewhere to use. Actually, we're going to keep them in here. I like them in here. I don't need my case anytime soon. Empty container. Um, so, in these little containers down here, oh, I have this has a lot of envelopes um tags bases that i would use for cards and then all that kind of stuff so i like them down here i actually remember that they're down here so we're going to keep them down here um and then in this um i have envelopes to put build cutouts <coughs> Excuse me. And as you can see, I still have space in here. But I don't know what else I want. I wonder if I could squeeze that into here. I can. Sweet. Indeed. We can figure out what we want in that one. Um, this is just... We're going to put that right there. Okay, so I think I'm... This needs to get shipped friend um just random paper oh, we'll put it in here more random paper oh I should keep that as directions oh these are so I bought I, I don't, they're sticker pocket things. I bought these thinking that they might be fun to play with. I wonder if they'll fit. Oh, perfect. They'll fit in here. 
think we'll put those down there. And these are just books. Um, this is a time book that has just really neat old pages. My mom thought I would like it, so she gave that to me. Here's another book that I use off and on to cut things apart. So I think I might keep some of that down here. Um, pocket stuff I just recently ordered and they don't really fit in there good, but maybe that's where I'll put, put all of my I have more stuff like that in down here and these is tags I bought that have metal wires so I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with the metal wires um, I've had ideas but I didn't like them but the tags are so great and I didn't realize these had metal wires so next time I buy them I need to double check, but this goes elsewhere. I don't, I don't think I need that in this little area. This goes away. I don't need this anymore now that I have my other things. So this is going to get gifted to my mother. So, I might end this here. I think this is going to be a two-parter. Um, so, if I do end this here, thank you for joining me. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, I am thoroughly enjoy doing these decluttering this disaster zone videos because, let's face it, it's making me actually do it. <laughs> um, so thank you. And I will see y'all next time.